you know, at the time that you're putting everything together, uh, you try to use uh, products that maybe you're not familiar with or, you know, uh, based on other builds. So uh, what I'm doing today is initially uh, for my drawer stays, I put in uh, a product that uh, I won't name them. You'll recognize them. But uh, I'm in the process of changing them because they have failed. And I'll show you what the problem is in my estimation and uh, it may help you uh, or guide you in uh, making choices that were different than this so I'll turn the camera here and just give you a, a little bit of a, an idea of uh, what, I, what I encountered and uh, it, it's unfortunate uh, they look like good products but uh, at any rate uh, okay here we go okay so uh, I'll turn the camera here and uh, you can see uh, the product that I'm uh, referring to Okay, so here they are. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll I'll show you where they are on the uh, bed or on the cabinetry. So anyway, oh, got some jam there, peanut butter. Okay, so anyway, here's the uh, stays, and what they do is they they clip in underneath here, and there's just a little wee rinky dink. Okay, you know what? Hang on, guys. It's gonna touch you up, put you upside down. See if I can show this to you. See that little stay there, a the little white piece. It is so thin that uh, it, it's really questionable on whether it'll hold anything. And so, anyway, what happens is when you pull on them, it's supposed to go down and uh, release off the little tab up here and uh, open. Now, yeah, they they do do that, but the problem is they don't last. You know, like, I don't know how, you know, for the purposes of building a van, they would even consider that plastic components will uh, wear, or will wear, will last. Because uh, there's just too much movement in these vans, and, uh, you know, uh, drawers are overloaded, etc., etc., and uh, they just, in my estimation, will not stand up. So, uh... Having said that, my recommendation would be, if you have the option, do not invest in anything that has plastic on it, or at least the very minimum. Use a mechanical um, uh, catch or uh, latch or whatever, uh, so that you, it, it's not in, uh, in question as to whether or not it's going to hold, because this stuff... I don't know. Uh, I know they use them in all the uh, newer uh, RVs and such, but uh, I, I really don't think that uh, they're as durable for the price uh, as uh, you, you would think they would be. So, at any rate, so what I have done initially leading up to this was knowing that they were starting to fail is I used just the straight old barrel. The, the barrel type of... Uh, clasps and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install these so that they're solid and they will go on like this and uh, it'll give me something solid to grab onto because <laughs> as you can see down here on the toilet once I open this how do I get it out so what I did is I just put a piece of string here the latch is around the old latch so I can pull it out. So obviously that's not suitable. So what I'm going to do is uh, set these up, drill them, put them in. Uh, I had to buy special screws for the backs of the uh, for the backs because they had to be a little longer because in my situation I don't just have the 5 8 I've got another 5 8 of plywood in here so it has to go through both so that's my project today I've uh, made a template which is here and as you can see there's a, the, the two lines for the drawers uh, the centers for the um, for the screws and uh, a reference point for the center and uh, now I'll just set them up and cut them out or drill them out uh, it'll have to be drilled a couple times because of course this is thicker 
you can see it then then the actual screw eh? so uh, it has to set in there so that has to set into the into the front so anyway i'll uh see if i can set you up here and i'll show you what we're up to Okay, so those are the first holes, and the way I indexed them was, as I said, I took this uh, template, there's the, the holes there, you see they center, and then uh, I measured down three inches, and all I did was I put it up to the place where I wanted, and of course I, I measured from here across, cut it in half so I know where the center is, and I found the spot where it'll be along that line, centered it and then with a screw i simply poke holes through the cardboard and there are the uh, centers for those drawer drawer pulls so anyway now the problem i'm having is i got to get the right uh, drill bit here because like i said they're recessed a little these uh drill bits so uh or these uh hinges so anyway yeah there it is there so i just got to watch my depth on these. Okay. Sometimes they just need a little finessing because when you go through two layers like that, uh, you, you don't know that, you know, as the drill is going in, whether it's perfectly square. So. Hopefully, geez, why doesn't that look square? <laughs> oh, where are we here? Uh, two and three quarter. Yeah, two and three quarter. So, what I may do is. Now, I have to see if they have lined up. Okay, I'm grabbing something there, and I'll just go get some tools so that I can clean up this, uh, this edge here. See right here, uh, there was a, a push-through, breakthrough, and uh, this one didn't do that. So, anyway... Let's see if I can get a screwdriver and uh, tighten those up. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's another job done. I'll show you how it turned out here. Uh, I'm happy with it so far. Uh, they do seem uh, like they'll uh, be a little more uh, robust than uh, what was on there. Uh, they, they don't have a locking mechanism, but uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, sometimes they, uh, like I said, uh, these all-in-one uh, systems maybe aren't the best. So anyway, uh, hopefully, uh, you, you know, you're going to run into stuff like this. So, But anyway, here's what I have accomplished there's the uh units there the two uh one on the uh pantry another uh pantry that we have and the the toilet so anyway uh yeah that's just um the way it goes uh as you can see uh I, i've got scraping on here and what that was from again when i built this um, cover, I made it too long. And what was happening was it was rubbing right there. So what I did was I, I took off uh, this unit here and uh, simply uh, cut three quarters of an inch off. It doesn't make any difference uh, on how it goes on the inside. So now all I have to do is, uh, as you can see, there's places here where there's wear and uh, little things like that. So I'll have to, now uh, when it's uh, nice and warm, I can uh, leave the doors open and I'll, uh, I've got touch-up paint in the back and I'll just uh, make it all nice and pretty again. So anyway, hopefully uh, you can see where I was going with this and uh, the issues that I had. And, uh, and like I said, uh, uh, I'd be more inclined to get more robust uh, uh, hardware because you know like uh in the middle of a drive you, uh, you take a sharp turn or hit a bump and uh a door or a door flies open on you it's, it's liable to do more damage than it's worth and uh, uh these ones maybe aren't as uh fashionable but you know what sometimes the good old stuff works the best so anyway uh at least that's what i tell janet <laughs> so anyway you guys uh enjoy your day and uh I will carry on with all these little uh, upgrade, not upgrades or repairs or uh, second thoughts, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're all things that, um, you know, that we're, we're always uh, being subject to them because of the, the nature of, uh, you know, moving down the road and uh, things shifting and moving and uh, and we, we got to stay on top of it. So anyway, have a good day. We'll talk to you later.